Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial, we'll see how to create this pixel stretch effect that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's open Photoshop and then I will take the image that we're gonna use and open it in here. Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do is to unlock the background. So I'm just gonna, gonna double click on it and I will name it image and I will press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna create a new layer by pressing this plus icon down in here. And I will go to the marquee tool in here and uh, I will uh, select the rectangular marquee tool. Alright, now I'm gonna make a selection of this top uh, colors from the dress. So I'm just gonna go from the edge in here and I will click and I will go into this blue color in here and I will make sure that the horizontal of the selection is 0 0.1 I'm just gonna take it down by pressing a uh, spacebar and I will make sure that the other edge is in line too something like this all right, now I'm gonna copy this information from the dress by pressing Ctrl C, but I need to make sure that I'm in the main image. So I will go and make sure that I'm selecting it, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl C. And I will go back to the layer that we created, and I will press Ctrl V to paste it. And now we have uh, that selection paste in this uh, layer. So now I'm gonna press Ctrl T, and this will enter the transform mode. And then I will stretch it up. But for this uh, new Photoshop, you know, we need to press Shift so we can stretch just the top of this uh, transform. Now, if I don't press Shift and I will just make it bigger, as you can see, it will make it bigger from the edges too. So let me press Ctrl Z to go back. And then I will make sure to press Shift and click and pull it up just like this until the top of the image. Alright, now I'm gonna press this check mark so I can confirm my transform. And as you can see, this will make these pixels go up like this. Alright, now I'm gonna hide this layer for now. And I will go back to the main image. And now I'm gonna select this part in here. So it will go from here to here. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the edge. And I will one click and make a selection horizontally like this. And again, I will make sure that I'm uh, gonna use 0.1 percentage of the horizontal. And I will let go. And again, I'm gonna copy this selection by pressing Ctrl C. But make sure that you are in the main image. So I'm gonna press Ctrl C. And then I will make a new layer again. And I will paste it in this new layer. So I'm gonna press Ctrl V. Now I'm going to repeat the same uh, transformation, so I'm going to press Ctrl T and then I will press Shift and I will put it up again, like this. Until the, the top of the image. Alright, I will zoom out and then I will press this check mark to confirm. Alright, now we have the both sides of the dress stretch. So I'm going to make this second layer visible and as you can see it will uh, top the other one which is uh, okay so now I'm gonna merge these two layers together by selecting both so I'm gonna make sure that to select this one and then I will go on top to this one I'm gonna press control and one click and this will select them both now I'm gonna press control E to merge them together and this will make them uh, one layer all right now I'm gonna rename this layer to pixel And now we need to make it behind uh, the image of uh, the girl. So I'm gonna go back to the main image and let me hide this uh, pixel layer for now by pressing this eye icon. And we're gonna make a selection of the hand and uh, this area in here. So I will, I will go to my selection tool and I will uh, choose a quick selection tool and I will make a selection, should be easy. For this image so I'm just gonna roughly make a selection the hand 
and also of uh, the head and a little bit in here and this will be enough so now I'm gonna make a copy of this so I'm gonna press ctrl C and then I will go to this layer and I will press uh, this uh, new layer icon so I will make a new layer on top and I will name it cut and now I'm gonna paste it in this new layer so I'm gonna press ctrl V and then we'll go back to this middle layer this is named pixels and I will make it visible and as you can see these pixels will be behind at the image of the girl all right now uh, to make the effect a little bit cool we're gonna make it like curve to this area in here but as you can see if I zoom in you can see a little bit of the pixel showing so I'm gonna select my pixels layer and I will just delete this part so I'm just gonna go to the eraser tool and I will delete this part all right now we'll uh, keep selecting the pixels layer and I will press ctrl T and this will uh, enter the transform mode and then I will right click and choose warp and this will let us uh, transform it in a curved way so I'm gonna take this point and put it in here like this and I will take this other point in here and put it just right here so it will like it will look like it's curved in front of the face of the girl and then as you can see this will create these handles so I'm gonna take one of these handles and put it right here until this not showing anymore and I will do the same for this other handle just like that and I want to make sure that this aligned with the, the edge of the image so I'm just gonna zoom in and I will take this point and make it just like this all right I think this will be enough or let me put this point a little bit down so it will look a little bit better all right I think this is nice so now I'm gonna just press this check mark all right I think this looks nice you can either stop in here if you want or we want to make uh, this a little bit uh, nicer you can just put a little bit of shadow in this curves area in here so I'm gonna create a new layer on top of this pixels and I will name it shadow all right now I'm gonna make a selection of this curve part in here by using the pen tool so I'm gonna select it and I will follow this curve line in here with the pen tool all right after we finish making this selection or uh, this line with the pen tool we're gonna transform it to a selection so i'm gonna press ctrl enter and i will fill this with black by pressing alt delete or you can fill it uh, using edit and choose fill in here all right now i'm gonna deselect this selection by pressing ctrl d and then i'm gonna make the fill uh, percentage to zero percent and I will double click on this layer by pressing in here and this will enter the layer side dialog and I'm gonna apply an effect called inner shadow now right, I will make the opacity to around 80 percent and I will make sure the color is set to black and I can adjust it just using my my mouse in here or my cursor just like this I want this part to be black all right I think this looks nice and the work is okay but as you can see you can see a little bit of the edge of the selection area in here so I'm gonna put a, a layer mask to this by pressing this icon in here and I will make sure that I'm selecting this uh, layer mask and I will go to my brushes and I will make sure that my foreground color set to black and I will delete from the edges in here
All right, as you can see now, this looks a little bit, has a little bit of shadow. All right, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this quick tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and see you in the next one.